Hey, this is your girl, Miss Yella Diva, bringing you an episode of The Shy. This episode had a lot of familiar faces that I hadn't seen in a long time. Um, But the episode begins with Councilman Victor. I think he's a councilman. I know he's not the mayor. I think I think he ran for councilman last year. He making a speech about mental health in front of some donors and everything like that. And uh, he wants a mental health facility um, in in the neighborhood. And I think that's what he's gunning for. Meanwhile, the um, some female cops um, are looking in a burnt. A burnt up uh vehicle and they find a dead body in the back in the trunk. And so they said, Well, you know, we, we you know, it's it's not lost the on, you know, this vehicle being burnt to find some DNA or some fingerprints. So then Victor's in the parking day, he get he get in his car and then all of a sudden he he get jacked. And taking out his car and thrown into a van and stuff, and he he's he been kidnapped basically. <laughs> um, and apparently he he's been taken to uh to see Duda, and so Duda, you know, he said, you know, I heard you were looking for me, bitch. Here I go. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> He said he tried. He he said, "Did you try to kill me?" And he said, "If I'd have shot you, I wouldn't have missed." And so then he head butted him because I guess he he was laid down like this, and he head butted him, and then you know, Duda punched 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 him punched him in the face and and stuff like that. And so and Bianca back there just tickled, you know, Bianca. You know, uh, better known as Tony, um, girlfriend back there just just tickled to death. Um, then it flashes to Emmett and Keisha in the daycare, playing with I guess I guess the, I think his name Lil Ronnie. I think she named him after the guy who uh, um, saved her. I don't know, but um. Uh, they they in there uh, playing with the little boy, and then they they walk out of class and they want they they feel like they need some time off and some time away, so um they uh yeah and then he told he told Keisha uh, Emma told Keisha that uh Duda wants um him to kill rob's mom and so you know keisha was like man (laughs) you 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 have done it (laughs) you getting you getting in deeper and deeper um so anyway so it, it flashes to jake jake um is having um Kenya the girl who Pop, Papa was interested in that had the the uh the kid and but then Papa's dad um before he died he he said that uh you you need to get rid of her and he did after after he passed away but she's modeling clothes for him for Jake you know cuz Jake got he had a a good stack of cash from Duda's boy as an investment and so he I guess he you know was he paying for models now to model his clothes and whatever it is so um so then Lene Bakari's girlfriend um she's he she's in uh class a uh, english class and lo and behold who was teaching the uh english class 
uh, formerly known as Dwayne Wayne, <laughs> Kadeem Hardison. <laughs> he is Professor Elijah Gardner, and he is teaching the English class. And I said, okay. Hey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, um, Emmett's parents told him that he they will watch the kids um while him and Keisha should go out cuz they you know they need a night out you know you know to the club and stuff and so also uh Jada uh Emma's mom said that you know if anything would happen to you and Keisha we will take care of the kids and stuff mm -hmm. and he, <laughs> and Emma was like, "What you? Why you say stuff like that?" And she, she was like, "Listen, it, it could happen." So, um, Rashad is in the mental health circle with all the mental health, you know, dudes that you know. And he compl he uh, confessing that he he misses girlfriend. He can't eat. He can't sleep, and all that other stuff. He missed he missed Deja. And, but Victor's not there because Victor, uh, um, is, you know, with Duda. And then Victor finally bust in with a, all beat up and stuff like that. And he ain't talking to nobody. So, then, they, and then, <laughs> now this. This little this little scene had me cracking up. So Rashad and um Victor playing cards, right? <laughs> and Victor said, Stop staring at my eye. And Rashad said, Yo, I staring at me. <laughs> uh, and so uh he said, Yo, I staring at me, nigga. Victor said, I had a talk with Duda. He said, <laughs> he said, he was he talking with his fist? <laughs> I, I wish I had me cracking up this whole time. He said, well, what'd he say? And <laughs> Victor, he said, Victor told him to be quiet. He said, well, shut up there, nigga. <laughs> shut up there, damn. Oh, I, oh, I was, I was laughing. I had, I had to rewind that. <laughs> it said, "Well, shut up, dear." <laughs> and so Victor was like, "That don't get us nowhere, bro." He said, "You know, you can't get, you can't get." He said that you, you know, you can't, um, <laughs> you know, the nigga like that, you, who, uh. He said, basically, he, Rashad said, a nigga like, um, Duda don't have nothing to lose. So you, you can't win with him because he, he don't have nothing to lose. But, oh my God, when he said, yo, I looking at me. And so then, and then, um, Victor got off that conversation and got on the conversation and was like, what's up with you and uh, Deja? And he said, I sent a text to Deja, which I meant to send to Tierra. And, and uh, he was like, well, when did, when did you, when did you uh, get, get with uh, Tierra? He said on Valentine's day, and he, you know, he was like, "What, what is it to you? Y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't together." And, and it, that was true because, um, Tierra was playing like Victor's girlfriend last season because he was running for office, but she wasn't his girlfriend. She was just playing like his girlfriend. So, um, Rashad said that, uh. She said, he said, well, my daddy said that, you know, to get over a girl, you got to get under a girl. <laughs> he 
<laughs> you got to get under another one. And so Victor was like, yeah, your daddy also let us smoke black and miles when we was 10. <laughs> and so Rashad was like, oh, yeah. I guess he, he, was, he wasn't that poetic. <laughs> anyway, Keisha in the club. Keisha and Emmett in the club. Um, and, uh, yeah. So then, uh, Gemma is jealous, uh, because, uh, Brittany, Bakari's girl, gr I mean, Bakari's sister, um, is, uh, basically, uh, caking with another girl and not paying her no attention and when they in the studio, and so, so Rashad, because he, he for the streets now, because he, you know, he ain't got no girlfriend no more. So he for the streets. So he go to the club and the first girl he encountered with basically want to know when was his, when the last time the long-term relationship, what he looking for, is he looking for marriage? And he was like, wait a minute, you know, I, I just want to, you know, have a drink or something. And so she, she brushed him off. The next girl orders everything off the menu. And, <laughs> and he said, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to share with you. And she was like, no, I don't share food. <laughs> so, uh, he struck out with that one. And then, um, some girl just came up and talked to her and everything like that. And he, and then she was like, um, I am, <laughs> she said, I'm just looking over my shoulder. Cause you know, my ex-boyfriend, you know, he said he'll, he'll kill the, the, the next person I, 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 uh, I, I'm with or whatever. So yeah, he struck out big time. Okay. <laughs> In the club. <laughs> but. Emmett and Keisha in the club, and then Dante, um, uh, what's his name? Corey Hart Hardwick, um, Tierra, no, not Tierra, Tia Maury's ex husband. Yeah, he was on last season too. He came up, gave him a bottle. He said, Y'all look like y'all thirsty <laughs> in the club, and then. He introduces um, them to Candace, and Candace, um, she was on Parenthood, uh, Reagan Gomez. I remember her too. She was on Parenthood with uh, I'm about to say Tommy Davidson, Robert Townsend. <laughs> so I said, "Look at all these familiar faces. What's going on here, people? I love it. I love it. I love it." So. Um, Emmett and Keisha get bored in the club. You know, they just ain't, they just ain't for the streets no more. <laughs> they go back home, eat pizza and smash with no condom. Hopefully she, they don't, she don't get pregnant. Okay. <laughs> so Rob, it, it, okay. So Rob is jacked in the parking deck as well. <laughs> Oh, from uh, Duda's boy. But then, you know, I guess, you know, I guess Duda don't make his his hit <laughs> on people, you know, like intense enough to where they going to they going to kill the person because, you know, Zay got talked out of killing Emmett. <laughs> Rob is talking, talking, um, talking himself out of killing him, uh, killing him. <laughs> so, I, you know, Duda needs to do a better job with his boys. And, you know, either I'm going to kill you or you, you, you kill him. I don't know. Cause he got talked out, you know, so he said, I'm going to spare your life if you cut me in on your weed business. <laughs> okay you gonna go back and tell Duda that 
Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, so he said, okay. <laughs> so he got cut in on the weed business. He had to tell um, Tiffany. Anyway, jealous, Jim is jealous of Jake now because Kenya is posing for him in in his uh, uh, he she's posing she's a model for him of for her for his clothing line and she was like I could have been a model for you she was like you've been busy he says you've been busy with Britney and so now she mad because you know Britney is rejecting her and uh. Jake is rejecting her. Um, Rashad got sleeping, uh, got caught sleeping in his car outside of Darnell's house. And so Darnell uh, bring him in. Jada was like, I don't want no grown man living in my house. <laughs> so uh, Darnell takes uh, Rashad on a um, a job with him. Um, to fix Alicia's sink. So, <laughs> Darnell leaves for a minute. Alicia flirting with uh, Rashad. And he was like, well, I can come over and fix this. And I can come over and fix that. Give me your number or whatever. Okay, this is what it is. Okay. Um, so... Victor, they said uh, they had a donor for the mental health clinic, but they have to, I guess, it's not because it, it, the police was defunded and they have like community police because, you know, I guess the police was killing people and everything like that. So, so, but they need to fund, I guess, refund. When I guess that's that's not it either. <laughs> um, fun, fun, fun the police now. <laughs> so they need to they need to put the money back in the police department. That's all I know. Because <laughs> I was like, it's not refund. Because it's defund. It's not refund. So they need to put the money back into the police department. Basically, is what. What is what the bottom line is? <laughs> Refund. <laughs> and so he was like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So un, unless he put some money back in the police department, he ain't gonna get his mental health facility. That's just ba basically the bottom line. What else? Um, Emmett wants to borrow the money from Alicia. Who he's supposed to? Who he's supposed to uh, unalive Alicia? Um, but he wants to. He wants to borrow money to pay off Duda instead of you know. I Emmett, I think is getting is getting way too involved in this mess, and I think Keisha realizes that. But he wants to borrow money from Rob's mom to pay off Duda. But Duda wants him to kill Rob's mom. It's crazy. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. And he really wants them to just basically do each other in. And he wants Rob's mom and Duda to do each other in and leave him out of it. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Bakari and the Professor Gardner, formerly known as the Wayne Wayne, <laughs> meet after school because he he went to the class with um Lene, and uh he she introduced him to Professor Gardner, but P Professor Gardner said, you know. I, you know, you can't be in this class if you you didn't pay. However, I can t you, um, tutor you after class, and uh, and so so they meet after class, and he gives them a journal. He said, write whatever you want to write in this journal, and uh, 
So yeah, he want he wants him to write whatever he wants to write in his journal. And then he said, "Tell me about yourself." And he was like, "When, where, where, where should I start?" And he was like, "At the beginning." So we'll we'll see how much he tells him about himself. And then um, Rashad visits um, Rob's mom. Oh, basically he visits uh. Deja and brings her flowers and she was like flowers ain't gonna get it <laughs> so um yeah and so she's still rejecting him and so then Rashad visited visit Alicia and said you know I can fix them locks for you and she was like you can fix them in the morning so apparently he gonna spend a night over there, and then uh, <laughs> oh, love, love it, love it. Um, JT, uh, also known as Leon, also known as what? What was his name? Alonzo Lafayette. <laughs> he is an attorney. JT from the High Five Heartbeats is an attorney <laughs> um, that comes, um, he comes to visit Victor and he said, uh, he said, why am I be being visited by uh, a, um, a attorney? And he said, let's take a ride. And so they took a ride to that, that, um, that uh, car, that burnt up car. And they found some DNA, some uh, Victor uh, DNA in the trunk. So they're going to try to put, uh, pin the uh, murder on uh, Victor. So that was it. So, uh, yeah. So that was it. Like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> uh yeah give me a thumbs up and uh get down in the comments let's talk about it okay i i love i love the shot let's talk about it and uh i will see you next week peace